Hey everyone, it's Mary. I have another unboxing for you today. I am super, super excited about this box because it's unlike any other box that I have received or witnessed. It has kind of a unique spin and I love unique things, so I'm really, really excited about this. And this is from Tremola Pillies Bone Box. Bone Box is a monthly subscription service that delivers you bones every month. And I went to school to be a forensic anthropologist, so bones really interest me. Like any type of bone. I like animal bones, dinosaur bones, people bones. Um, but yeah, I absolutely adore bones and skeletons. It's a little weird sometimes, but I do. And so does my family. Like, our entire family has that little flair for the unusual, and we absolutely adore it. So I'm really, really excited to dig into this and see what we have. No pun intended. I did cut off the tape because, you know, bad with opening things. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have in this month's box. There seems to be a couple things in here and some papers. So this is the box. Oh, don't look at that. This is how it comes. It's got kind of like a bone box stamp on the side. Okay. And I see there is a card stating that if you take pictures of the items that you receive in your box and post them to social media, you could win free month subscriptions, which that's really neat. And it tells you what to tag, where to go, things like that in order to be entered to win a subscription service. I love it when boxes do that. Okay. This says, thank you, congratulations on being a charter member of Bone Box. We'd like to thank you for your subscription with goodies and a 10% discount on your purchase at SkullsUnlimited.com. Please help us spread the word about Bone Box by sharing on social media with hashtag Bone Box. It has all of their information. There's also a discount promo which I will include down in the description below so that if you guys want to go save a few bucks, you can. And I think this is telling us what is in this month's box, because this looks a lot like what I have right here. And this says, this month's bone box delivers to you the striped skunk. The, stripe, the striped skunk is an opportunity Swear to God, I'm educated. I'm working on it. Opportunist omnivore native to most of North America. As you can see, the skunk has small canines and flat molars. These are great for eating nuts, grasses, insects, and small mammals, but do not offer much protection against larger predators. In fact, the skunk's entire body isn't designed to stand fight stand and fight off potential threat so it relies on perhaps the most famous defense in the animal kingdom spray don't know if you all have been sprayed by a skunk but my dog has and it's disgusting you know how when you like drive down the road and you smell that skunk smell it smells nothing like that when it's in your house it's like amplified, it gets into your nostrils, it gets into everything in your home. Tomato juice doesn't work. Just an FYI, it don't work. Don't try it, it doesn't work. It may like mute it a little bit and make you smell like a Bloody Mary, but it stinks bad. And the only way to get rid of it is basically for it to wear off and it's a strong scent. It'll make your eyes burn for like a month. Okay. The skunk spray can reach over 10 feet with surprising accuracy. 
causing temporary blindness and of course a lingering odor that can last for weeks. Despite the skunk's unique defense, they often do fall prey to animals such as the gray horned owl, red tailed hawk, red fox, and of course man. My dog bit the butt of a skunk and it sprayed her right in the face. Like right in the face. My friend, however, has eight skunks as pets. They run around the house. They attempt to bark like his dog. He's had them for years. Um, he found one on the side of the road cuddling up to his mom trying to get warm, but the mom had been hit by a car and he thought it was still alive, so he stopped because he was going to take it to the vet. But it wasn't, so he picked up, which he named Stinky. He picked up Stinky and put it in, put him in his truck, and he curled into his jacket, which seems really cute. But the minute he started the truck, he sprayed all over the inside of his brand new truck. But when he took him to the vet, the vet said, unless someone has a permit to take him he will be put down because they cannot release him back into the wild after he has been in the vet because he wouldn't be able to survive where he was a baby. Uh, my friend went and got a permit so that he was able to keep him and he would not be put down. They descented him and within a couple weeks he got another call from the vet stating, we know that you have a permit now for to have skunks because they do require a permit in order to keep them and not everybody is approved for one. Um, and they had someone else bring one in and they weren't interested in keeping him. So Alex went and got it and brought it home and named it Bennett. So he had Stinky and Bennett and then Bennett became, uh, Stinky was acting weird and he took her, her to the vet which he was not aware that Stinky was a female. He was told that she was a male. Unfortunately, Bennett is a male. So they now have babies, six of them. They had six babies. So he now has eight skunks and he didn't want them put down. So he took them all, but they are super cute and super domesticated, but now that I've babbled on about my friend's skunks, let's jump right in and see what we got here. Okay. So as I said, Bone Box every month sends you bones, which I think is pretty awesome. And this is a striped skunk skull, which is a striped skunk is a basic skunk, like the ones that you see on the side of the road. That's what they look like. I don't know if you can see that very well. That's a picture of one. It's just like a normal skunk. Okay, let's take this out. I'm trying not to break it because some of these are really delicate. I don't know how delicate this one is. This is actually quite incredible because it actually has the jaw completely intact and it's closed. And it's not wired or anything, which looks really nice. I do notice that this has been bleached by the looks, which a lot of people aren't going to want. They're not going to want a skull that hasn't been bleached because it's kind of, it's not very nice looking. That cord that you're seeing is just a tag that's attached and it has some information about the striped skunk on the back. Not only do I think this is a great box to get just for the educational purpose, you also get a really neat skunk skull. Well, you get neat bones sent to you every month. You won't necessarily receive this one, but you will receive something awesome. And they are pristinely taken care of and it was well packaged because it didn't arrive broken. And bones like this can be quite delicate to ship so the fact that they were able to get this to me in one piece says a lot about them and how they're able to ship their products because if you don't notice it's a jaw 
is super duper thin. Like its jawbone is super thin. And so is where its eye sockets are, right along here. It's crazy super thin. And there are some thin pieces on here that could easily break if mistreated. So I just think it's excellent that this came to me in this condition because it takes a lot to ship bones like this and not have something happen to them. Let me just show you one more time because we have one more item that came in this box. And this is a striped skunk skull. Let's put it back in its bag so that I don't hurt it in any way. And the next item in here is an ostrich feather. I'm not going to take this out because feathers kind of skews me out. I know that's a weird thing. I was just holding a skull in my hand. Um, birds carry lots of diseases. I'm sure that this has been cleaned. I can't imagine them sending one that hasn't been. Um, but feathers are also really delicate. So I don't want to break it in any way. This is an ostrich feather and it says a not so typical feather. Notice how the ostrich feather is soft and flowing. This is due to the fact that the ostrich is a flightless bird and there is no need for stiff feathers that are used for flight. Instead, their feathers are used to warm the body at night and can be spread out to provide shade for their chicks during the day. That does look incredibly soft. I honestly think this box is just absolutely awesome. Where else are you going to get bones? Who's going to send you bones? Unless you're a, re a weird oddity like myself. And you order them on Facebook. Not Facebook, eBay. You're probably not going to get bones in the mail. It's just not something that's going to come to you. Um, bones can also be really hard to find. And they can also be not well taken care of. This skull is in pristine condition. There is no nicks on it. There are no scratches on it. You can tell it's been extremely handled with care. It didn't get damaged in, in uh, shipping. It's literally a perfect skull. It is a pristine specimen of a striped skunk skull, which I am extremely impressed with, especially where it came through the mail. I have received other things in the mail that have been way less delicate and have been destroyed. So that just speaks how highly Bone Box takes care of the items in their box. You, you're going to get what you order. Like, I'm sure if there's any problems with your order, you can contact them, but I don't see there being any. Like, that is an extremely, extremely thin skull and can be damaged very easily. But that is everything that I got in my bone box this month. I will link everything down below as far as price points, their website, how to subscribe, things like that. Um, go ahead and check them out. I do think it's worth it if you are interested in things like this. As there's not a box out there that's going to be like this one. And each month it caters to like a different animal things like that. I personally think that this box is extremely unique. I have never seen a box like it. And everyone in my house has been just raving for me to do this because they just want to get their hands on the skull because it's just that awesome. But yeah, that's everything in it. Sorry I babbled on for like 15 minutes for the pure fact is that I just absolutely love stuff like this. And it gave me opportunity for story time. Yeah, that just happened. But yeah, check them out. I don't think you'll regret doing it. I will post everything down below as far as price points, things like that. 
go ahead and check them out. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. It's right around here somewhere. And just so you guys know, I will be giving away some things very soon. I am waiting until we hit the 100 and 200 subscriber mark. And once we do that, I will be giving away something big. I don't want to give it away because I don't want you to subscribe just for the giveaway. But it's pretty huge and lots of people like them and they're extremely expensive. But luckily, I got to pair with a company that is going to send it to my winner. So, yay! But stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. And you guys have a great day. Bye.